So, after last episode in which Geralt was left for dead and Cirilla fucked around with some magic she probably shouldn't have, welcome back. First off, this episode really fucking sucked. I may or may not have fallen asleep, but I know you will want a bit more of an analysis than that, so I will oblige you. When Ciri fucked around with the Elder Magic last episode, she opened a portal and randomly teleported herself to a desert. We of course have no idea where she is or when it is, as it would seem she has now officially become the Lady of Space and Time. But don't worry, Netflix don't bother utilising this opportunity, because, you know, this is Netflix's not The Witcher, remember? Anyway, episode 7, let's get into it. So, we immediately begin with more gay stuff between Homo Dillion and Radovid the Fourth, who isn't really Radovid the Fourth. Don't worry, I'll, I'll get to that later on, and fuck me, it's a doozy. They basically take a humongous shit on the Redanian lineage and the entire royal family tree. But as I said, more on that later. The episode then truly begins, and we are taken straight to the desert, and it would seem after the landing, our poor Cirilla has dislocated her shoulder. So she just sets it and her arm is in perfect working order. Yep, that's right, because according to these writers, when you set a dislocated shoulder, you don't need 16 weeks for it to fully heal. No, you just pop it back in and it just works. And before some fucktard says anything, yes, I'm aware she has magical abilities, but as far as I saw, she didn't use any magic at all to set and heal the joint. And even if she did want to, where would she draw the source from? She's in the middle of a fucking desert. There isn't any life here. We then get roughly 15 minutes, yes, that's right, 15 minutes, of Siri wandering through the desert and having mirages and visions of things we have already seen. Who the fuck thought this was a good use of screen time? What frustrates me is that we already saw last episode that they were rushing things and making continuity errors due to skipping parts of the story, yet they are willing to spend 15 minutes on Freya Allen wandering through the desert, bitching and moaning. Now I don't know about you, but taking a walk in this gorgeous weather, that's not work. That's a vacation, Freya. Now, after this, she states that the sun is setting, therefore that direction must be west. She then states that Korath is in the east, so she needs to walk south, towards the mountains. Does anybody else see the problem here? She has just fallen from the fucking sky and teleported to a completely unknown area with absolutely no life and no landmarks. So how the fuck does she know where Korath is? Not only this, but somehow, bearing in mind she is walking in a straight line, she somehow circles back and ends up exactly where she started. How the fuck is this even possible if you are supposedly following the sun and walking in a specific direction? And before you say anything, no, she's not having some sort of mind-bending experience that makes her question reality and therefore make mistakes. She is just genuinely so fucking stupid, she is unable to walk in a straight line. One more thing I have to point out before we move on. I may be being extremely pedantic here, but I don't fucking care. This bothered me. They are in a desert, meaning they are surrounded by sand, which consists of a sedimentary rock composition. So why is this fucking enormous igneous rock here? Igneous rock is formed from hardened lava, and the reason I know it's igneous is because Cirilla sucks the water from off the rock. If this was sedimentary rock, the water would have been absorbed. Now, many may argue that I have just spent the last couple of minutes being superfluously nitpicky, but to those individuals I say, you're, you're absolutely right. But when you're writing a show of this magnitude based on a legendary franchise, these details matter. The things I just pointed out, you could have actually just cut from the show and it would have improved the episode. She didn't need to comment on her location after falling out of the sky. She also didn't need to have her shoulder dislocate. But unfortunately, when you're a talentless moron that doesn't do any research, you don't know what you don't know. Just to put this into perspective, there are over 250 people working on this show, and I'm just one dickhead on the internet, yet I noticed these discrepancies, and they didn't. Anyway, an Ahuaraquax, a mythical being which I did discuss in the first season, arrives and its nature is to help those that are in dire straits before quickly disappearing again until it feels it is needed. It does look eerily familiar doesn't it just just 
don't let Yennefer anywhere near it. So the horse then leads Cirilla to water, but unfortunately, it can't make her drink it. After this, Cirilla has a quick chat with an ancestor of hers, Falca, but this conversation doesn't really go anywhere, and then she passes out on the periphery of the desert. Whilst she is unconscious, she is captured by bandits, and the surroundings combined with their attire suggests they are somewhere in Xeracania. During this, Homo Dillion finds Geralt in the forest with the Dryads, as Mother Ithne saved him. How he knew Geralt was there, just don't worry about it. You know, plot stuff has to happen somehow, and we can't expect the writers to explain themselves all the time, can we? Can, can we? We are also introduced to Milva, an elven archer that aids Geralt on his search for Cirilla in the books. And yeah, they've, they've made her Asian. She's skilled in martial arts, and she's really good with a bow. So they've made her Asian, which I find extremely funny because that's extremely racist. But it's fine. It's good racism, right? Anyway, Dan Dillion then tells Geralt that Nilfgaard have Cirilla, and roll credits. I have to say that I wanted to watch all three episodes, but now that I've watched two, I wish I had only watched one. Thanks for watching, I hope you are all doing well, and as always, take care.